Good morning here, um, I'm Brandon, I'm a designer of Serenity Design and in today's video I'm going to show you how to use the app Over. So here we've got the app right here um, and we're going to design something like this. So I'll be showing you how to create a canvas like this, how to use the vector apps and just basically how to use the app. When you first open over you have this home screen so it's very much like the app store you go through and it shows you different articles and sort of guides you through the design process which is really quite nice um, so what I'm going to show you is just how to start a program so you can either start with a template so there's plenty of templates and they're also constantly updated so we're coming up to Halloween so we have some Halloween themed ones um, tons and tons and tons of templates that you can use. Um, so I think we'll create a Instagram story. So we'll click that, and then it will show you all of these story orientated programs. So here we've got lifestyle, we've got Halloween, we've got events. It the 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 range of designs on this app is incredible. It's really really nice. Um, so we can either create one from a template or we can create one ourselves so if you want to create one yourself just click the middle button called create so here we've got lots of different images videos from my ipad photos on my ipad and stock videos so for example I ch i'm just going to create something of just a white one um, and then down here you have lots of different form factors so You've got Facebook cover photo, Facebook square, Facebook post. You've got a Pinterest post. You've got a Pinterest post there. You've got Twitter, Snapchat filter, Insta, LinkedIn, YouTube. So you've got thumbnails, you've got video, cover, and Google. It's really, really flexible, but we're just going to have an iPhone one here for an Instagram story. So we're going to click that and then we've got our editor. So here it's really easy to use so you can either add an image straight from here so we have a, I don't know, we could take this one and just have it in the middle. Um, there you go, so this is one of our future posts so you're seeing this um, as an exclusive, this will be on our Instagram very soon. So we're going to put this right in the middle here, so it's got nice guides. Oh, haven't got a silly hand. There you go. Um, so there's there's a basis of our post. We can add some text now as well. So we could write, I don't know, new post. And then once you've typed, you can slide on this on this slider here to choose your font. So you've got this. You've got modern. You've got lots of different type of faces here. I personally quite like this one. This is this is one of my favourites. I love sort of calligraphy writing there. So we can put this position there. So you just pinch and zoom and it sorts itself out very nicely. So we can put this here. Well, actually we'll put it at the top. Smaller. It's all about trial and error really. It's it's really quite cool. So you just add that. So we now have part of our post finished, but you can actually duplicate this so you can move this down here. And then you just double tap to get back to editing. And we put coming soon. And then have that as a smaller one. Right there, and then we can move this one a bit up as well. And then I'll actually move this down slightly. There you go. So, as you can see, it's so easy to just create something yourself. So, you can also up here, if you look at the top of the screen, we have layers. So, you can so if you're familiar to Photoshop or something similar to that, you have got layer control as well. Um, but let's explore some of the other things you can bring. So, 
you've got images, you've got text, you've also got this middle button, graphics. Now, why I love Over is that you can access tons of royalty-free graphics in here. So, there's tons and tons and tons to choose from. So, uh, yeah, you've got Pride ones, LGBT, you've got lots of different illustrations, text. Tons and tons to choose from. Really, really, really nice. So if we come down here and just sort of have a look, see which one we like. As you can see, it just keeps going and going and going and going. It's really, really quite cool. So we quite, quite liked the look of the eyes. So we can see if there's an eye here. Oh, okay, so these aren't PNG, so we won't use those ones. Can use one of these. So we could use it as a cover to cover up the new photo, cover up the new post or something. This is just a really rushed idea, so this is purely to show you how to use over. Get a bit annoying to sort of squeeze on there. There you go, so you do that. It's really quite nice, and you just click complete, and it's done. You can also collect items as well, so here you can see from our recent campaign we've collected. You can also collect new ones, so for example if we like some of these you can click these plus buttons. And once you add them you don't need to go and search them again, you just go into collected. And then they should be there. I don't know where they've gone, maybe it'll take a little while to add. But they will be here at some point. <laughs> um, we can't we can't predict what technology does. So um, yeah, so these are all added. I added them yesterday. Added them over over a few weeks. So you know so they they're all here. So I don't know what happened there, but that's that's that energist. You've also got a few others. So you've got shapes as well. So you can add a shape. So for example, we can add I don't know a love heart. Add it there, we can go to colour, go to this colour wheel. Add that there, this is really messy, but I just want to show all of the all of the um there. So now what I'm gonna do with this love heart actually is if you go to the bottom, you've got various different editing tools. So you've got border, size, shadow opacity, rotation, nudge, so nudge is to sort of move it along a bit more precisely. You've got mask, so if I wanted to just get very rough because I just want to show you very quickly. You can mask it there and then now it looks as if it's coming out of the box. And this stays masked. There you go. But what I want to do is to blend it. So we've got different blending methods here. So I can make it multiply like this. You can lighten it. You can overlay it. You can darken it. Soft light. Color. Uh, difference. Hard light. And exclusion. So I quite like to look at multiply. So I'm going to keep it there. And it's just it just adds a different effect to your sort of to stories, which I quite like. Now what I'm going to do for this next one, I'm going to delete all of these. Sorry, darlings, they're all very lovely. Now something you can add in literally it's just been updated recently. You can actually add video. So these are videos of just on my iPad, but we'll go on to stock video. You can add lots of different videos here. So, for example, let's have a look. I quite like the look of this one. Oh, it's taking a little while. So while that loads, the video options only just come live very recently. Um, so you can add videos into your stories and overlay different effects onto the videos, which is really, really nice. Oh, there you go. So that's quite a cool video. So we'll add that. So you can 
in essence, do this then instead. So you can increase that if you wanted to. And there you go. It's really that simple. Now when it comes to exporting, so if you want to export this, and let me actually see, I've never tried this before, but I want to see if it, oh no, because it's black, isn't it? Okay, yeah, I don't think it'd work on this one. You can make it opaque. Yeah, let's post it like this. So you, when you get to the end of your editing, you can go to this little um, yellow icon on the top right hand of the screen. So you just click this. You can either save it to your photo, save it to your circle, which is um, sort of like an uh, online portfolio within the app. But I'm not going to do it with this one. I'm just going to click. I want to share it as well. Um, but I am going to save it to photos. Again, it's taken a very long time today. Um, I don't know why. But hopefully that will speed up. But once it saves, it goes into your photos file. And then from there, you can export it. You can add it to your Instagram. You can add it to your Facebook. The file is yours, basically. So it's really, really nice to use. Now, Over is free to download. So you can download it for free. But the service, if like, it comes with, a, I think it's a week or a 14-day free trial. But the service is a monthly subscription to use it. Um, so you can you can use the very basic tools like text and stuff. But if you want to use the graphics and the video and the different editing, which is mainly the main reason why you'd actually want the app. So you sort of have to pay it. Um, I think, yeah, it's about £5 a month. I pay £13 because I've got the top... Um, uh, oh, my mind's gone blank. Package. <laughs> because we do a lot of graphic design, so we need it. But, yeah, they do do different packages, and it's really quite flexible. And it's not too expensive, so it, it, it's it's nice. But definitely use the trial first, and if it isn't to your liking, then don't buy it, obviously. But we like it, and we recommend it. So, now that it's done, let's head over to the Photos app. And then this is an edit we did last year. This is another video we did within the overwrap. So as you can see, it's really, really nice. We just added our logo in the middle. But now let's look at our main app. And there you go. So it's there. It's our file. So what we can do now is we can share this. So for example, if we go on to giving you an exclusive look into our behind the scenes of the business. There you go. <laughs> um, so let's go from there and click this. Our tutorial video. Continue. Publish. I do hope Apple, um, Facebook update the iPad or update the Facebook app for the iPad Pro. As you can see, it's really blown up, like it's on a 9.7 inch iPad, and no, it's on a 12 inch iPad now. It's been a little while, so I really do hope they update it. Um, but you catch my drift, so you can now do whatever you want. You can add it to Facebook, Instagram, keep it for your own personal files. It's really, really flexible to use. So that was a very quick insight into Over. Um, we will be using Over in future videos because we use it a lot for our graphical design. So um, yeah, if you have any questions about it, feel free to sound off below in the comments. Make sure you like and like the video and subscribe to our channel for more because we've got a lot more coming in the future. And do make sure you have a look at our previous work because we've done some videos on calligraphy and done some different how-tos and tutorials. So yes, definitely have a look and we'll see you in the next video.